Okay, I'm going to take you through this inquiry lab, which is on area of trapezoids. And today we're going to focus on this question, is how can you use the area of a parallelogram to find the area of a corresponding trapezoid? So we're going to start by reading the problem here where it says garden. It says, Lizette is building a garden in the shape of a trapezoid. The garden is 6 feet wide in the back, 10 feet wide in the front, and 5 feet from back to front. She wants to find the area of the garden. So down here in investigation one, it says, Trace, you're not going to actually trace this on grid paper, so just kind of stick with me, and hopefully you'll see how trapezoids are connected to parallelograms. Um, find the area of the trapezoid by drawing a related parallelogram. So it says, trace the trapezoid below on grid paper. Label the heights H and the base is B1 and B2. So here's base 1, here's base 2, and the height is the distance between them. Um, the shorter base, B1, represents the garden width of, well, if you count them here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That represents up here where it said Lizette was 6 feet wide in the back. So I'm going to put my 6 here. Oop, let me put on thin pen. Sorry about that. Okay, garden width of 6 feet. Okay, the longer base on the bottom represents the garden width of 10 feet. And you can count the bottom if you want. And the height H represents the garden dimension of 5 feet. Remember, it was 5 feet from front to back. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so they're the dimensions of the trapezoid. Now, this is where I think it gets kind of cool. Let me zoom in a little bit. In this next step, if we were to trace this trapezoid, a second one, make an identical copy of it, and tape them together like they are down here. So take a look the way they're taped together. So this is the original one, and the second copy is taped to it, but upside down. So if you do that, notice that this makes a parallelogram. This whole shape is a parallelogram. So in step four, it says find the area of the parallelogram, then divide by two to find the area of each trapezoid. So I'm going to zoom in on my parallelogram and find the area. Now remember, to find the area of a parallelogram, you have to remember the formula, area is base times height. So we basically just need the base and the height. Now to get the base, I remember this was 6 and the bottom was 10. Now when we flip it upside down, this 10 will now be on top of the second one and this 6 will now be on the bottom of this. So the entire base of my parallelogram is going to be this 10 plus 6, which is 16. So my base is 16. Now the height did not change when we tape these together, so the height is still going to be 5. So to find the area of the parallelogram, it's 16 times 5, which is 80. So the area of the entire parallelogram is 80. Now remember, our trapezoid is only half of that, because Remember, this is what we want. We want the area of that. So if the trapezoid is half of the parallelogram, all we have to do is divide that 80 in half, and we'll have the area. So we'll go through filling these little boxes over here. Set. So to find the area of the parallelogram, we did 16 times 5, which is 80. Now to get the trapezoid, we take that 80, and we divide it by 2 to get 40. So the area of the garden is 40 square feet. So... We're going to go to the next page. Um, if the entire base, we added this 10 with this 6, and we got... Now, investigation 2, it says discover the formula for the area of the trapezoid. Now, for us, though, we've been using this formula for a while, so you kind of... I bet most of you actually know the formula for area of a trapezoid, but we're going to kind of go through these steps because this is where maybe, hopefully you'll be like, oh, that's where that formula comes from. So, we'll start in number one. What figure is formed by the two trapezoids in investigation one? Remember, when we put the two trapezoids together, we got a parallelogram. Okay, it says write an addition expression to represent the length of the base of the entire figure. So if you remember in the, if I can go back here, 16, so that's where we'll get our addition problem. So we have 10 plus 6 equals 16 got us the entire base. Now it says write a formula for the area of the parallelogram using base 1, base 2, and h. So 
If you remember in a normal parallelogram, you just do base times height to get the area of a parallelogram. But this says write a formula for the area using base 1 and base 2. So, remember my height did not change. So it's still base times height, but my base was, was different. We added that 10 and 2 together. So if I have height times base 1 plus base 2. Remember, that base 1 plus base 2 is where we added the 10 and the 6 together. So that 10 and the 6 was base 1 and base 2. Now the last thing, or second last thing, it says, how does the area of each trapezoid compare to the area of the parallelogram? If you remember in investigation 1, we took the area of the trapezoid, or of the parallelogram, which was 80, and we divided it by 2. So if you think of that here, the area of the trapezoid is half the area of the parallelogram. So I'm going to write that down here. The, so I paused that so you didn't have to watch me write. I wrote the area, the area of the parallelogram is one half, or I'm sorry, the area of the trapezoid is one half the parallelogram. So write a formula for the area of each trapezoid using base one, base two, base, and height. Now I am going to take this formula. Remember, this was the whole parallelogram, the height times base one and base two. And if the trapezoid was half of that, all we would have to do is multiply that by half. So I'm going to have 1 half times the base, or times the height, I'm sorry. So 1 half times height times base 1 plus base 2. And by going through all of that, that is where the formula for area of a trapezoid comes from. Now in investigation 3, we're going to kind of take this a little more. Um, this is kind of a different way to find the area of a trapezoid without using that formula. And I think this is kind of cool. Um, but then I'm a math teacher, so that makes me kind of nerdy. It says, another way to find the area of a trapezoid is to deconstruct it to determine which figures form the trapezoid. Find the area of the trapezoid below. So, step one says the trapezoid is made up of one rectangle and two congruent triangles. Find the area of the shapes that make up the trapezoid. So take a look at this. If you look here, we have a rectangle. And then here's one congruent triangle, and here's two congruent triangles. So we're going to go through step one, and it says the area of the rectangle is, if we look at it here, it's 6 times 5, which is 30. So the rectangle by itself is 30 square units. Now the area of each triangle, remember the area of a triangle is 1 half times base times height. So if I take the triangle, it's 1 half times the base of my triangle is 3 times the height of my triangle right here is 5. So it's 1 half times 3 times 5. And if you were to type that in, 1 half times 3 times 5 comes out to 7.5. Now, if you notice in this step, they use the base times height divided by 2. So they did 3 times 5, which is 15, divided by 2, which gets me 7.5. But I like using the half times base times height better. Okay, so one of these triangles, the area is 7.5. Now, if one of them is 7.5, that means the other one is 7.5 because they are congruent. And in step two, it says add the areas. So I'm going to take my 30 for my rectangle plus 7.5 for the one triangle plus 7.5 for the other triangle, and that up adds up to 45 square inches. Now, basically, if you ever get to a point and maybe you forget the formula for area of a trapezoid, you can always break it apart and find the area of these two triangles and the area of the rectangle and add it together. I don't like doing it that way, but you never know if you need to do that. All right, so now we're on to some practice problems. Here is what I'm going to do with you, because you're going to have to end up doing all of 1 through 6. But I am going to do 1, 3, and 5 with you. Then you are going to have to do 2, 4, and 6 on your own and hand this in. And I will check it after you hand it in. So let's start with number 1. It says, work with a partner, find the area of each trapezoid by drawing the related parallelogram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this parallelogram and I'm going to draw an identical one over here. 
Now remember the trick is the bottom of this parallelogram is going to go on top, and the top of this one is going to go on bottom. So I'm going to start with putting the bottom on top. So if this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on the bottom, I'll even write that down here, that's 7. So I am going to then count over 7 up here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to draw that. Let me make this bigger. It's hard to draw when it's nice and small. And I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now the top of this trapezoid here is 3. So that top is now going to be on the bottom of my new one. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. Now to connect it, I just have to connect this with as straight of a line as possible with that. Now if you notice, and this is what I think is neat, um, we now have a parallelogram, which we can find the area of. So... If this is 7 and this is 3, that means the entire base is 10. And remember, for a parallelogram, you would do base times height. I'm going to get it on thinner pin here. Okay? Now, so my base is 10 times my height. I just have to count going up, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my height is going to be h. And the area of this parallelogram is 80. Now remember, we only want the area of the trapezoid. So I only want the area of this. So if the whole, whole parallelogram is 80, that means the area of the trapezoid is going to be half of that, which is 40. So we'll write that on the line. 40 square units. Now when you do problem 2, I'll just tell you, you're going to have to take this and draw it over here. Remember, the top goes on the bottom, and this bottom goes on the top. And then find the entire base times the entire height to get the area of the parallelogram. Cut that in half, and you'll have the area of this tan trapezoid. All right, if you get stuck, you can always rewind the video and go back and watch number one. Now, we're going to show you in number three, we're going to be taking away the graph paper and starting to use just one that is labeled. So this says work with a partner, find the area of each trapezoid by using the formula. Now remember the formula is, in this one, instead of half times base, half times height times base 1 plus base 2, they're doing base 1 plus base 2 times the height, and they are dividing by 2. So we'll put those numbers in the right spot after I zoom in so you can see it. All right, so base 1 is 6. plus base 2 is 12, and my height is 7. And after I multiply all those together, I would then divide by 2. That takes care of when we do half times base times height, half times height times base 1 plus base 2. So you can probably type that in a calculator, but I know 6 times 12 in parentheses is 18, and we have to do 18 times 7 and divide by 2. And if you do that, you should get 63 square units for that trapezoid. Now, let's take a look over at number 4, what you're going to be doing on your own. Remember, this is base 1 plus base 2 times the height. All of that divided by 2. So take these numbers, put them in the right spot, and don't forget that divided by 2, and you'll have the area of the trapezoid. All right, so let's go down to the next... I will do number five with you, and then you will do number six. So this says work with a partner. Decompose each trapezoid to find the area. So this is where we don't use the formula. But I am going to split this trapezoid into two easy shapes. So I have a triangle here in black. Oh, sounds like Lizzie's scratching on the door to go out. And I have this rectangle in red. So I'm going to find the area of these two shapes and add them together. I'm going to start with the rectangle. So it's just base times height, 8 times 3 is 24. I always write that in the middle. Now the triangle in black, don't forget the area of a triangle is half times base times height. So if it's half 
times the base of the triangle. This is tricky. The base of the triangle is not 7. The entire bottom of the trapezoid is 7. But we only want this part that's labeled in black because that's part of the triangle. So you have to take the 7 and subtract, subtract this away. Remember, it's 3 up there. So take the 7 minus 3 and we get a base here of 4. I'm going to even write that little 4 down. So half times 4 times the height is, if this is 8, then this is 8 here. So this triangle is 8 units high. And if you type in half times 4 times 8, you get 16. Now remember, that is only the triangle. So the area of the rectangle is easy, length times width. The triangle is a little bit trickier. To find the area of the entire trapezoid, we have to add those two amounts together. So if you do 24 plus 16, you will get 40 square units. Now just to show you, even though you're doing 6 on your own, um, you are going to have to find the area of this rectangle and the area of this triangle, add them together to get your total answer up here. Be careful with the triangle because your base is going to be on top. And remember, this whole thing is 10. So you're going to have to take that, the fact that that's 10, to figure out this, but I'm not going to tell you how. Don't forget to add them together when you're done. All right, so after you're done with 1 through 6, you should be pretty much done with the inquiry lab as far as what I want you to do. Make sure you ask me any questions when you hand this in. Thanks, guys.